Greetings, Islam. I am Shade Renee L. Thank you for tuning into my channel, and I'm back at it again with another video. And today I'm going to be going over this treason that I caught on camera. Last time I made a special appearance um, in regards to my, my child, of course, um, because we don't make special appearances, but this is a special appearance, especially for my child. Last time I made a special appearance, um, the magistrate hearing um, master de facto judge clearly committed treason and I caught it on camera and I would like to share that for the public record. And again, free baby Ashe Divine L, all rights reserved. She is being held hostage currently for profit as a nom de guerre, all capital letters, straw man, which she is not, she is free. And with that being said, I will read for the record what they do have on file. And this has been e filed with the clerk of court. Uh, again, I've sent this information to the governor of Nevada, the state uh, attorney of Nevada, um, the mayor of Nevada. I mean, you name it, the list goes on and on. It's been a lot of people who this information has been sent to, so they are all powders of the matter as well. So in regards to this, this actually was sent out August the 6th, 2020. And it's a legal notice, affirmation, it's a legal notice affirmation um, of fact declaration of ex relatum, and it's a disclaimer. So I'll read it as follows. It says, I Shade Renee L, natural mother, mother to I Shade Divine L, Moorish American national, improper persona, su juris, private entity, being duly affirmed, standing squarely, declare and proclaim upon divine law, nature's law, natural law, universal law, more birthrights, international law, and constitutional law, all rights reserved, declare and say, I, Ashe Divine Ill, all rights reserved, the living sentiment, woman, and rightful heir, and not lost at sea, not lost at sea, I, Ashe Divine Ill, being previously identified by the Union States of North America, capital U dot S dot A, under a colorable wardship name, am authorized representative ex relatone on behalf of all capital letters, Ashe Divine Kellogg Tharp, and do hereby refute the fraud. Any of instruments, driver's license, social security, I just added this along, a birth certificate, and any other state issued instrument, adhesion contracts, used as negotiable, negatable instruments, excuse me, that pertains to the name or signature all capital letters, I shade divine Kellogg Tharp, 8 8 and or, um, date of birth, was under ignorance without full disclosure, under threat, duress, and coercion, or starving desperation to acquire resources, operate in commerce only after being denied use of indigenous credentials, and has many times been exhausted. I, Ashe Divine Ill, affirm and declare my right of reversion of estate, and therefore I make no claim with respect to the title misrepresented all capital letters, Ashe Divine Kellogg Tharp, non de Geer. Being a title in destroyous creations of the foreign de facto capital U dot S corporations, operations, actors, and owners. Furthermore, I, Ashe Divine, L, surrender and assign all my revisionary interests to the U.S. foreign and its sub subsidiaries for full acquittance, discharge, settlement, and closures of my reliance. And it just says that I'm not here for property or assurance, or surety, excuse me. I went ahead and thumbprinted it, signed it for her. This has been sent and filed. Also, I want to state a great quote about all men being created equal. So all men cre are created equal. When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve political bands which have connected them with another and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature entitled them a descent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, 
endowed by their own creature with certain unalienable rights. Among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit to happiness. I'm a Russell Motebi. This is also a administration order affidavit writ street that I hand wrote. I hand wrote myself and sent this to them. And I'll read this as well because it's all gonna loop in, it's all gonna loop in. Just stay with me, just stay with me here. All right, so administrative order, affidavit, excuse me. It says a notice to the agent is a notice to the principal and a notice to the principal is a notice to the agent. Facts. You are presented with this a sheet writ of, I respectfully ask that you and as well as your subjects, refer to me by my de jure appellation, Shade Renee L. All Rights Reserved, in all correspondence going forward, so that absolutely no assumption or mistake is made regarding jurisdiction, for I am sovereign national. And therefore, I understand what you understand. Now, in regards to and in the said relation, in relation to my offspring, I shade divine ill, all rights reserved, to whom you and your subjects refer to as a kid and that she is not. Therefore, going forward, it is established that all correspondence with you and your subjects is to be done in writs due to the fact that the findings that your request for a physical appearance in which you refer to as a summons is nothing short of a dolus dance locum contract for I am being standing on my domicile. For the record, please present to me your nationality card as well as your delegation of authority and include the certified numbers to the United States Republic or said agency where their authority can be verified for public record. Otherwise, if you are making any claim, please introduce the evidence before the people of my own nationality peers according to the national and international law and see if it's validated by the people. They will decide if something goes along with this or not. Otherwise, I'm not making any claims, counterclaims, or pleas one way or another. I refer you to the North America Republic Constitution for United States Article 2, Article 3, Section 2, Article 6, Supremacy Clause, now that this is addressed and established, my offspring, I shade divine ill, all rights reserved, to whom is in your slight care of you and your subject's custody is to be returned to me upon receipt of this writ, unharmed, tainted, in any shape or form, in all relatives, and unmolested. I furthermore command that all transactions, transcripts, including, but not limited to, the handling funds used, healthcare and service provided, along with the locations to all persons involved in all cases, as well as the names of whom signed off on the act and authorized such matters listed, in which you abide, and it is considered to be treason, and therefore charged with Talmudic, and it is ordered by Shade Renee L. All rights reserved. This has been sent and filed and e filed for the record. For the record, for the record, for the record. Right here. They sent me back my documents, but they filed it. They got it because they sent this back. Right here, administrative order, affidavit of facts, rates. That right there. Plus more. You know, I've sent way more documents. And it's more than the paperwork. Because I've had conversations with them. That's why I'm starting to record them. Because they'd be lying. And also for the record, I'll put this on the record again. This is my legal notice, my name, proclamation, and publication. It's been signed by two witnesses. Thumbprint. I am in my proper persona and reclaim my rightful social and cultural life of the state in accord with my Moorish nation of Northwest of Mexico, North America, North America, acknowledging my birth rights, having lawfully and legally obtained and proclaimed my Moorish nationality and birthright, name and title in harmony with 
in association and accord with the divine law and customs and the laws, rules, and usage, usages of the Moorish divine and national movement, being Aboriginal and indigenous, and bound to the North American continent by heritage, by birthright, by natural birth, by freehold, by inheritance, declared for the public record, I am returning the Euro European cognomen and the fictitious misnomer back to the colonial possessors of its pedigree. I am now rightfully declaring, publishing, and proclaiming my own free national name, affirming my actual right and civil in full life status, conjoined to my Moorish American consanguine pedigree and national honor. Let it be declared, known, published, and resolved that I am Shade Renee L. in proper persona, su juris, being in my own person by birthright and inheritance without the foreign imposed color of law or assumed due process of the union state society pursuant but not limited to. And then we have a list. And then I'll go ahead and affirm as well, uh, wherefore I, Shade Renee L, being part and parcel, named herein and by birthright and inheritance, make a lawful and legal entry of affidavit and public notification of nationality proclamation, name correction, claim, declaration, affirmation, and application, herewith published for the public record. Again, signed my two witnesses as well with the thumbprint, sealed, sent, delivered. On record. All right. So, in regards to my special appearance, this actually occurred last month. Shoot, last year in this case. With that being said, um, our court, my special appearance was supposed to start at 3.30. They didn't start till maybe about 4.45. I had my flag up the whole time. So, they decided to put their flag up. I don't know. But I'll go ahead and just play this, and I'll stop when needed. All right. Polino, Department of Family Services North. And that's what it looks like. Ms. Adams. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Shalonda Adams, Department of Family Services North. Mr. Petsis. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Nicholas Petsis, bar number 13222 on behalf of my nurse, Shea. Mother. All right, so with that being said, I sent him a delegation of authority order as well, um, for, warn for Warranto, excuse me. And so they have that information on file since he wanted to give his bar number and things of that nature. I mean, he, he got a lean too. He, he's been leaned as well, for the record. And as far as him calling himself a lawyer, I thought I had brought my uh, letter to Obama. Maybe I didn't. But I was going to read the fact that they don't even exist. Like, they're de facto. There's no such thing as the Bar Association. What do you mean? Um, yeah, they don't even exist. Anyways, all right. So I'll get back to it. I am here in my proper persona. I am Shade Renee L, All Rights Reserved. And I am here on a special appearance to challenge the tribunal's jurisdiction. Okay. This is the time set for a review here. Objection. I demand the delegation of authority for Adriana Recon White. This is the time set for a review hearing. The court has read the report. Objection. The Anytime the law provides that once a state and federal jurisdiction have been challenged, it must be proven. The court will note that mom has appeared at every single hearing challenging the jurisdiction of this court. The all right, I want to pause right there because she even stated for the record, every time that I've made my special appearance in regards to my, my child, I say divine ill, all rights reserved, I've challenged jurisdiction. Once you challenge jurisdiction, it must be proven. It was no moving forward from there. So what does she mean? And in regards to that, it's actually Colograt versus Oregon. A state cannot refuse to give a foreign national their treaty rights because of fear that valid international agreements may possibly not work completely to the satisfaction of state authorities under supremacy clause of the United States Constitution, Article 6, Clause 2. State policies as to the rights of aliens to inherit must give away to overriding federal t treaties and conflicting arrangements. That is a fact. And again, for the record, 
Officers of the court have no immunity when violating a constitutional right from liability, for they are deemed to know the law. Now that is Oregon versus Independence 100 S.C.T. 1398, comma 445, comma U.S. 622. And the law provides that once state and federal jurisdiction have been challenged, it must be proven. Okay? Must be proven. This is Joyce versus the U.S. 474-2D-215. That right there. That's case law. You can look it up if you want to debate it because it's not debatable. Let's look it up. At no time has mom formally objected to a district court judge regarding this court's recon jurisdiction. Miss mom has neither filed properly a motion for reconsideration. Therefore, what? I, will ask I saw that objection. I am challenging the court's jurisdiction at this time. Waivers of constitutional rights not only must be voluntary, that's they must be knowingly willing, intelligent acts done with significant awareness. That's Brady versus U.S. 397 U.S. 4 um, so, Madam Clerk, please be aware of that and make sure that mom stays on mute. I will tell you when you can take her off mute. Miss um, Polino, do you have any updates to your report? All right. So I'll stop right there because, as you see, we're having um, Zoom special appearances now because of the whole COVID. That's their poor of, of excuse. So we're having Zoom. With that being said, she'll put me on mute. Therefore, I've already objected. She just she did not clarify. She kept moving forward. Treason. Fraud, right there. And on top of that, again, I challenged jurisdiction. She she claimed that I have never sent any proper paperwork, which is a complete lie, which is complete fraud. <laughs> As that's why I started with my paperwork. So we're gonna keep looping. We're gonna we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep looping. All right, let's continue. I did not, Your Honor. Okay, so is it correct? So pretty much that was the caseworker. She said that she did not have anything else to add um, as far as the report that she'd never sent to me. I never received a report, um, certified mail. Anytime they do send something, they are sending it to all capital letters, Shade Kellogg Tharp, and she did. So I don't know about, I don't see how she could open up mail if she don't exist. So I've put return to sender. And, you know, you will address me properly. I've already told you who I, who I am. <laughs> Shade Renee L., all rights reserved. All right, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I'm not about to go back and forth with you about my appellation. Put some respect on it. All right? All right. So we're going to continue. Give me one moment. All right. Back at it again. Okay. So I'm going to continue where I left off. We left off there, and I'm going to continue with the video. Her weight is good. She's doing very well with her diet, um, and she's teething as well. She was very active and happy and was able to say hi to me. Um, I, I understand that visits have continued, um, as in the report, and I, I, that's about all I have at this point, Your Honor. Okay, so the court will remind mom that this case is about this child and the child cannot be reunified until mom engages in services. She has wasted the first six months of this case fighting over jurisdiction in a rather informal and improper way. While mom believes that she is a foreign national that cannot be uh, summons into court or that this court does not have jurisdiction. I reiterate the fact that mom has not availed herself of the proper judicial resources to overturn this court's uh, prior recommendations or jurisdiction in this case. So I will have the court clerk. All right. So I'm going to pause right there. Because what she's trying to do is she's trying to force me to get this lawyer. They keep trying to get me to get in contract with this lawyer. And I keep telling them, y'all don't exist. You're stateless. You're de facto. You don't exist. And she is um, Beth Rosenblum. Because I had sent this to them as well. As you can see. I had sent this to them 
And um, this was when they had sent a petition. So I rebutted the petition line for line, like what you're supposed to do legally, right? And certified, as you can see, certified right here, it has been sent and filed along with this. So for her to go on record and say that I have not sent in the proper paperwork, this is exactly what you do. If you send me something, I rebut it. And what does she do? She did not rebut. And I'll even say what it says, um, for example, again, line 26, uh, I shot a Renee L, all rights reserved, again, declined Beth Rosenberg's, Rosenblum's representation, like the lawyers don't exist. And then I also say here on line 21, the court and its members has no jurisdiction over Shade Renee L as the judge, attorneys, agents, and actors mm -hmm, have not provided delegation of authority information and Shade Renee L, all rights reserved, being a Moorish American, does not fall into their court codes. Period. And I don't know if you guys are aware, but I have made a whole full video in regards to the civil orders from July 4th, 2014 from Pope Francis that was sent to um, Obama, who was acting as president at the time. And I'll just read off a few paragraphs in regards to um, these de facto lawyers and the whole bar association, which doesn't exist. Any and all corporate officers of the United States, in all capitals, United States, or any successor organization, organizations inheriting federal service contracts who support, condone, or promote such crimes against the American states or against the American state citizens shall be subject to arrest and prosecution for commercial and violent crimes. All foreign officials operating as elected or appointed officials of the United States of America, minor, who support, condone, or promote such crimes against the American states or against American state citizens shall be subject to arrest, confiscation of their assets, and deportation to Puerto Rico, Guam, or such other states as may, may be willing to accept them. Such foreign officials include members of the American and British Bar Association who were licensed to act as privateers against the interests of the American states and the American state citizens from 1845 to 2013 in flagrant breach of trust. All such licenses are now extinguished. You hear that? I'll read it again. All such licenses are now extinguished. Members of the Bar Association are required to cease and desist assaults against the American states and the American state citizens or shall be subject to arrest, confiscation, gosh, tongue tied, and deportation otherwise. In so much as corporate office operating the United States of America incorporated and the United States have contrived against conditions of fraud and semantic deceit to revenue the states of the American state and living American state citizens to the foreign jurisdiction of the United States of America minor they are found guilty of capital crimes including acts of fraud and treason committed between 1933 and 1945 and are condemned post homelessly in so much as elected officials operating the United States of America minor have similarly committed war against the American states and their peaceful inhabitants during the same time period, they stand condemned as well. I'll stop there for now. I'll stop there for now because we're going to continue with this video. Two overturn this court's all right so the lies continue well, um the court's not going to address the jurisdiction issue again but i believe that everyone has the opportunity to uh you know address the court and i will allow her to do that as i do in every single case this is a case that should not be as complicated as mom it wants it to be she needs to be aware of federal law and statutes and regulations yeah. that give parents sufficient opportunity to remedy the safety concerns 
Usually at around the year mark, the court has to make the very important decision as to whether to change a permanency goal to termination of parental rights and adoption. And that is what will happen in this case if mom does not mm -hmm. engage in services and makes efforts to uh, remediate the safety concerns that brought the child into protective custody. So, Madam her, her weight is good. She's doing very well. All right, I'm going to stop right there for now. And I'm going to read, if any tribunal court finds absent of proof of jurisdiction over a person and subject matter, the case must be dismissed. Period. That's Louisville versus Motley, 2111 US 149.CT42. The accuser bears the burden of proof beyond a reasonable doubt. Where rights secured by the Constitution are involved, there can be no rulemaking. That's Miranda versus Arizona, 384 U.S. 436125. This is one of my favorites, like, honestly, because they've literally kidnapped my child, falsified the reports, and for a crime to exist, there must be an injured party. There can be no sanction or penalty imposed on one because of, the, of this constitutional right. That's Shearer versus Colin 481F945. In order for there a crime to exist, there must be an injured party. That's one that everybody should have memorized off the back of their hand. Like it should just be like second nature because a lot of people get kidnapped for things and there's no injured party. No one got hurt. What are you getting arrested for? What are you getting kidnapped for? What are you getting detained for? No injured party. All right. And um, as far as uh, the practice of law cannot be licensed by any state or state capital, that Schwer versus Board of Examiner United States reports 3353 US pages 258 comma 239. So there we go with the threat coercion. There we go with the threat and coercion right there. Caught on camera because she's threatening me. And then they always try to turn it around. That's their psychological tactics to try to make it seem like it's my fault. I've, you, you, I literally put here, and this was mailed out August. This was mailed out August of last year. Um, and it literally says here, um, I am demanding your delegation of authority. I, Shade Renee L, all rights reserved, plead demure. Um, let's see, um, you have five days to respond. That's one right there. And if you don't, this stands as law. And I, Shade Renee L, all rights reserved, plead demure. And I am demanding the immediate return of my daughter with all charges dropped. And for judges, hearing masters, actors, agents, members of the Bar Association, and their nonprofits to cease and desist all prosecution and harassing letters, because that's all they do. And again, this was line for line, never rebutted, never. So for her to sit here and lie and say that I have not filled out the proper paperwork, um, she says that because I haven't hired a lawyer. And again, that's why I prove that they don't exist. And she wants to lie and try to make it seem like I've been difficult. How have I been difficult? You guys are not responding. Everything has been fouled. You get my paperwork, you need to legally respond. These are international documents. And on top of that, you haven't even given the proper um, counselor juris jurisdiction um, notice because anytime you have a foreign national national held captive you need to give proper counselor notification which they have not so that's avoiding treaty obligations fraud treason genocide to my family and then with the threats here we here we go with the threats again here we go with the threats again and again, it's always through threat, duress, or coercion. They're always trying to get you to, to sign some type of contract. And I've never signed nothing with them. And I'm not going to.
Mark my words. Ma'am, I will warn you that at that point, the court will make a very important decision of whether to set the permanency goal for the child as termination of parental rights. So it is your choice whether you want to continue uh, with these arguments that have gotten you nowhere or if you want to use the next six months to really engage in services and to be reunified with your child. I will give you the brief opportunity to address the substance of the report. But again, if you go into the jurisdictional itself, um, the court's So she pretty much threatened the fact if I go into jurisdiction, they're going to put me on mute because, again, they haven't proven jurisdiction because they have none and they can't so they want to just continue with the fraud so this was my response a state cannot refuse to give foreign nationals their treaty rights because of fear the valid international agreements may possibly not work completely to the satisfaction of state authorities under supremacy clause of the united states constitution article 6 clause 2 state policies as to the rights of aliens to inherit must give away overriding federal treaties and conflicting arrangements you do not have any jurisdiction over me and my property. I am demanding the immediate release and return of my offspring, Ashe Divine Bill, all rights reserved. I'm protected by the Treaty of Peace and Friendship of 1836. You are within treaty violations. You need to call my counselor, the Council of Morocco, in the Nevada State Territory. If you do not do so, you are avoiding treaty obligations. This is an act of treason and genocide to my family. They pretty much, I think they hung up at that time. I'm and I just said, I'm demanding, you know, the immediate return. But they had already put me on mute and hung up. So that's what they do. Because, again, they couldn't prove jurisdiction. So they had to lie. All right. And going back to the de facto, all legal, ficti all legal fiction enti entity, excuse me, However structured and named after their American states and American state citizens are returned to them and their control, free and clear of any debt, promise, encumbrance, or obligation alleged against them as a result of false claims made in their behalf by officers of the United States, America Incorporation, and the United States Incorporation, all capital letters or by any foreign officials operating the United States of America minor, or the United Nations, city, state, falsely claiming to represent them, or have no, or have jurisdiction over them, which they do not, see? It's already there. So, again, I just wanted to put that on public record. Treason! Free baby Yashe! Because they have no jurisdiction. And this is the law. And I've mailed them again, for the record. I literally have a folder of all my certified mails, like all my receipts. Just throw it in the air, uh. Just throw it in the air, uh. Just, uh. Just, uh. Uh, just, uh. Uh, just, uh. Just throw it in the air, uh. Just throw it in the air, uh. Just, uh. Just, uh. Just, uh. And proof that they have been delivered, 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 all of them. I mean, I could keep going. <laughs> it's not even funny, free baby I shame. And that's it for now. You know, I'll be back at it again with another video. So don't you worry until they free my baby. And Akuna Matata. Lots of love, lots of energy, 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 energy. Thank you for tuning in. Again, I am Shade Renee L. All rights reserved. Free baby Ashe. And until next time, Islam. Peace.